Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbick. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. Here is a daily technical analysis for stock index futures. I'll start with the UK FTSE futures. Okay, so a lot going on here. A reactionary bullish white soldier yesterday, based on the 250% Fibonacci lines of the July 21 to June 22 move at 7200 and the recent March to June move at 7184 and capped by the combination of the lesser Fibonacci lines at 72.93 and 73.10, plus the flatlining long-moving average, currently 73.17. And I suppose to a certain extent by the broken lower trend line of the March to June ascending triangle, currently at 73.40. The recent actions open all sorts of possibilities. Now recently I had pointed out potential targets topside for a descending expanding wedge pattern. This pattern, as I said, and its targets are now retired. Instead, we have the big ascending triangle with a break lower. A primary target X for this pattern would be in the 6658 area, with a secondary harder to get target X1 in the uh, 6380 area. There's also a double top formation, even Eve type, formed from March to date. This has a primary target X2 in the 6918 area, and a harder to get secondary target X3 in the 6635 area. Finally, there's the opportunity to look at the action over the last two weeks as a possible bear flag stroke, bearish halfway hesitation move. If that is the case, then we have a potential possible target X4 in the 6850 area. On top of all this, with just over half of June just gone, we are currently set up to make a possible monthly key reversal down for June. If we close on the 30th of June, either above 7586 or below 7513, then we'd be on. Right now, we're looking very much at a possible monthly key reversal down, in which case it will be an immediate countering monthly key reversal down. This after last week's weekly key reversal down as well. So far today, a big piece of action. The market opened on the lesser Fibonacci line at 73.10, pushed up over the long moving average, but then was halted by the overhead broken lower trend line of the large ascending triangle pattern and turned vault face pushing below the 250% Fibonacci lines and tackling the lesser Fibonacci levels below at 70.90 and 70.75. Below this, we have the neckline, currently 70.49 of December 21 to early March 22 head and shoulders top. And after this, we reach on to, well, the first targets below, target X3 in the 66.35 area. German DAX futures. Okay, a lot going on here as well. First off, the proposed April to May descending expanding wedge pattern and its related targets have been retired before they managed to prove themselves. Yes, there was a bullisher army that failed once again to fill in the gap left over from last weekend between 13658 and 13738. In part, I suspect that this may be due to the overhead congestion area between 14079 and 13804. Within this band, we have the, the February 2020 high at 13821 and the 50% Fibonacci line of the October 20 to November 21 move at 13,804. A new feature I would like to consider is to look at the March of the action as a possible sideways triangle with a shallower upper trend line currently at 14,673 compared to the lower trend line currently 13,787. I know this is a skewed rather than a completely sideways triangle, but it does have merit and so I'll use it. This current pattern has a possible primary target X in the 12.825 area and a secondary harder to get target X1 in the 11.210 area. The latter is well off the bottom of my daily chart. There's also another possible pattern. It's to regard the last two weeks action, much as we have seen in UK FTSE futures, as a possible bear flag type pattern. If that is the case, and it is still a big if, if, then a downside target X2 would be in the 12.240 area. Finally, on top of all this, with just under half of June to go, we are already set up for a monthly key reversal in June. We close either over 14,378 or below 14,090, then we'd be on. Right now, we're looking very much like a monthly key reversal down. This after last week's weekly key reversal down. So far today, well, a big piece of action. What well, looks right now like a combined key reversal down and bearish engulfing pattern. The market opened higher, but then reverted back down once again, failing to fill in the gap left over from the weekend and dropping down through the February 21 and whole of 2021 lows before catching its breath at the lesser Fibonacci line at 13.115. 
Now below this, well, below this we have the first of the targets, target X. USC Mini S&P futures. Okay, once again, I know, but once again, a lot of things going on here. A reactionary bullish white soldier yesterday, as the market finally reacted upwards to the testing over the last few sessions of the declining middle time, currently at 37.33, of the January to March bearish Andrews pitchfork. However, the rise was capped by resistance at 37.93, plus lesser Fibonacci lines at 38.02 and 38.32. Such that prices don't even manage to close over the next resistance. Now, I have spoken at length of the danger period during the crossover of two times of the previously mentioned January to March Andrews pitchfork and also the shift pitchfork for the same move. I'd highlighted the previous crossover of times from these two pitchforks, one on Thursday four weeks ago and the other on Tuesday of last week. As periods of one could expect, one or more of the following, volatility, change in trend or a reinforcement of a trend. This important time period I highlighted with red circles on my daily chart. These two crossovers have been the cause of the current market gyrations. For your information, the next cross crossover, indeed, really the last crossover of these two patterns, should they not be usurped by other patterns or actions, would be on the 12th of August. There is one other pattern I'd like to draw your attention to, and that is the labelled late March to late April to date possible bearish halfway hesitation. I've detailed two separate patterns as there is an argument that the start could be from either, well, assuming the pattern works through, uh, there could be a start from either uh, the end of March or the end of April. Assuming the pattern works through, therefore a target X for the pattern originating in April would be in the 35.55 area and a target X1 would be uh, for a pattern originating in March would be in the 34.20 area. Both are currently within the bearish Andrews picture, which seems to be running in this show. So far today, well, another significant move. What looks right now like a bearish engulfing pattern that is once again tethered, if loosely, to the middle time of the bearish Andrews pitchfork. Prices have still dropped below the March 21 low at 37.20 and now threaten the February 21 low at 36.56 and December 2020 low at 35.96. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyrights Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.